Hello everyone. Today's tutorial will look at connecting your Jupyter Notebook to Vertex AI. First, let's start with the reason why you would like to use it. So let's say that you want to build your machine learning model with the help of services available inside the Vertex AI. So one of the options would be to use a graphical interface to do everything and click through entire process on your own. But if you want to automate your process, you need to use Python SDK to communicate with those services. And here you basically have two options. You can either connect with that from the Jupyter Notebook instance that is hosted in the same GCP environment as the Vertex AI. Or the second option is to connect from the external environment. It could be, for example, your own PC. First option is much simpler and I will show it first. So here we are inside the GCP project. Let's jump straight to the Vertex AI. So as I mentioned, we want to connect from the same uh, environment, uh, the same as our GCP project. So first let's create one. So we go to the workbench, we go to user managed notebooks, and we'll create a new notebook with this button. And I will use the default Python 3 environment. Uh, yeah, we can leave the name as it is. And really you can go with a default settings, but let me just uh, change one thing, which is uh, machine type. It will make a little bit cheaper for us. And let's hit the create button and it will take some time to create the instance. So yeah, we, we see that it's uh, in the process of creating. But uh, as we wait, uh, let's open the very similar uh, Python instance that I created just before recording the video. So let me hit Jupyter Lab. All right, so here we are inside the Jupyter Lab, and let me go to the notebook, which will present how to uh, connect to the Vertex AI. So there are really just a couple of steps that we need to go through. First, we need to import the Vertex AI library. And as you can see there, we are actually importing AI platform. And the reason for that is very simple. Uh, initially, all the machine learning services inside the GCP were developed under the name of the AI platform. But recently, it was rebranded to Vertex AI. Hence, we have the name um, Vertex AI. But the name of the Python library is AI Platform because it stayed the same. Okay, so we imported that library. Now the next step is to initialize the connection. And there we don't really need to um, give any additional uh, arguments to, to this uh, method because it will read the defaults from the environment. So let's run this. So we initialize the connection. And now let's test it. So we'll, we'll be listing um, all tabular data sets which I have in the Vertex AI. And this should uh, return a empty list because I don't have like any data set registered yet, but still it should return an empty list. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it worked. So we successfully went through the first method. Okay, so now let me show you how to connect from your own local environment. So as you can see, I'm on my own uh, PC, like there's a local host. Uh, I have created a local host. So let me try to do the exactly same thing as, as previously. So we have those three lines of um, code, which will test the connection. So let me run all of those and see what happens. And first of all, we should get an error from the this command that uh, we haven't specified uh, a project. So you will see that at the very bottom, it says, yes, it's unable to find your project. So let us fix that. And let me just copy a project name. So let us run this once again. But again, we we haven't uh, like made uh, any authentication to our environment, so it shouldn't allow us to do this. And 
yeah, it didn't. So we see that there's a default credential error. If we scroll to the bottom, we see that they could not automatically determine the credentials. Um, yeah, so actually in order to connect your local environment with the um, Vertex AI and G GCP, uh, you need to create something which is called a service account. So this is basically an um, account that will use that is used through like some kind of services which want to talk to each other within the GCP. So so let's say I have a, on this example I have a, this notebook which needs to be connected to the Vertex AI and it needs to, to be somehow um, recognized by my project, my Google Cloud Platform project, that it's me who is trying to authenticate. So for that, we'll create a um, service account. So we go to IAM and admin. We click on the service accounts. Let me create a service account. Let me call this Vertex AI. Mm, let me give a role uh, Vertex AI user. Um, yeah. Uh, we can leave it on the default settings. We good. And now we have created this service account. Now we need to generate the key that we'll be using uh, in our notebook. So let's create a new key. It's a JSON key. Uh, yes, we. it was downloaded to our PC. And this is how we'll be uh, authenticating with our uh, GCP. So now let's go to a different notebook where we'll actually make a connection. So there are a few changes. So first of all, you need to also, uh, on top of the uh, installing the Google Cloud AI platform library, you also need to install the Google Auth. I've already done it, so I will skip that part. But then we are importing those two libraries. Uh, then we we need to create a credential. So so um, credentials. We can create through like this service account dot credentials and from service account file. And here we need to input the name of our uh, service account uh, key. So let me um, copy path. And of course, we are in the same folder. So we just need the name. So we create credentials. So now uh, AI platform in it on top of the project, it also uh, takes the credentials. So let us do this. And now let's actually test the connection. So as you can see, we were able to successfully connect to the um, AI platform or <laughs> rather a Vertex AI, of course, with the AI um, platform library. Um, from our local environment. Okay, so there's one more thing that I wanted to mention about the credentials. So actually there's an alternative to um, defining in them in that way in each uh, Jupyter Notebook that you want to connect to Vertex AI. You can actually export the uh, environment variable or set the environment variable and uh, this is described in this uh, Google official documentation. I will make sure to link this in the video description, but generally the idea behind this is that we export the environment variable, uh, which will be named Google application credentials. We put, uh, put their um, path to our uh, key. So basically to this key, which we created from the service account and then um, you can really delete uh, this line. You also don't need the credentials because those will be um, recognized by uh, by this AI platform dot init method by itself. So it can be um, a little bit more convenient.
And this video is really a baseline for everything else that we'll be doing on that channel. So please stay tuned for the upcoming videos, which will be heavily focused uh, around the Vertex AI services. Thank you for watching.